and welcome to Marsha's Mash and Stuff. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. And if you're new here today, thank you so much. I appreciate you watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and give a thumbs up as it definitely helps the channel to continue to grow. And with all that said, let's dive in because I have so much to share with you. So let's start with this. I did want to show you, it's something I had made in the past, but I made it using one of the Dollar Tree signs. So here's what I made. And it says, do not worry, instead pray about everything. But it was one of the Easter signs. And this was a new sign that was put out this year. So that's how big it is. I want you to see how big the signs are this year in comparison. Look at that. What a difference. And if I put them back to back, look at that. You're getting an extra, I don't know, like, I don't know how many inches that is. I don't have my ruler with me. But that is amazing, you guys. So I definitely wanted to share that with you. And I'm just going to stick those right here for right now. I had to share that with you because I didn't realize it until I put that inside my fireplace and I said, the signs are growing, you guys. They're growing. They're getting bigger and that's even better for crafters and we love that. So thank you, Dollar Tree. Also, I scored one of these this year. Last year, could not find this. It was a very well sought after item with the potion models, but it says welcome little jack-o'-lantern right there too cute let me kind of move over so i can get these in frame so there you go there's that one i have many signs to share with you so we'll just keep going with that one also the halloween sign that says spooky and it has the little skull there and that's the size it's in and I was wondering why I couldn't get them all in frame because I know I did last year or not last year. I know I did back in the spring and I was like, why won't it go in frame? But that's why, because they're literally longer. I would say that's about two feet. Let me know in the comments if you agree. How long do you think it is? Okay, also staying on the Halloween we have the Happy Halloween with the little creepy spider or happy spider. And I love him. He's such a cutie pie. So look at that, you guys. Happy Halloween in the orange and black. Very Halloween colors. And then we also have the one that looks like a coffin. Has the spider webs and the spider coming down. And it says, welcome. But you guys, look what Dollar Tree did for a dollar. They said, let's make it reversible. So it says trick or treat on the other side. And again, it's a very long. And you can see that in the picture. Amazing, you guys. Amazing for a dollar. You know yourself at any craft store, these would retail for so much more. And then we have the welcome with the jack-o'-lantern in the black and red. And love it too. I love buying these to craft with. And I, I've told you guys that before, but if you're new here today, you did not know that. And so happy to have everybody here with me today and so appreciate you watching. So let's just keep going. Um, it's not gonna be in any particular order and no particular order, just randomness a little bit. But we have the 12 piece sticker set from Crafter Square that says, I love being witchy, happy Halloween, boo. It has so many on it. And let me hold this up behind it. So hopefully you can get a better look at it. But you get 12, are they pop-up stickers? I mean, they look like pop-up stickers to me. Love that rose right there, but that's what that looks like, you guys. And then we also have, I showed you the Hocus Pocus, but I found another pack. 
So that's what that one looks like. So be on the lookout because they do kind of hide you guys. So you have to dig for them. And then picked up another one, a, the clear see-through makeup bags so that I can do the makeup bags at Christmas time to give out to family and friends for Christmas gifts and also to donate. So there are those. Also picked up this skeleton that's jointed, I guess you could say, but look at him. He has little jute twine up here. He has, I just love him. He is my absolute favorite. And let me know what's on your fall wish list. I would love to hear and love to know. And also picked up these pumpkins. I picked up two packs from Crafter Square. However, I did get into them and I've used one to go in the back of my little truck to put a pumpkin in. So I got the orange ones that had the little speckles on them. I think they also had these in white, if I'm not mistaken. But correct me if I am wrong. Also picked up some of the metal words. And these say Haunted, Spooky, and Beware. So there you go. You're hearing my dog in the background, so I apologize. Also, something I have not seen at the Dollar Tree in forever. Not in my Dollar Trees. You know, maybe you have in your Dollar Trees, but not in my Dollar Trees. We never get the stove uh, top burners. And these are excellent to make to your trays and other DIYs. And I actually needed the small one. So you get a two-piece set. I did not care what they look like because I'm going to end up um, painting over these with chalk paint. So it does not matter. But this is the espresso one. It's upside down. It says espresso, coffee, Americana, and latte on it. So that's what that one looks like. Trying not to cast a glare for you guys, but sometimes it's a little bit hard. Another one of the makeup bags. So I picked up two of those. Also got two of these, and I have been searching for these because I need these in my drains. So these are the Never Get Hair Clogs Again. It's guaranteed to catch every strand of hair. It's called the Hair Cyclone by Dr. Reuter. And it's the tub edition. Insert the cyclone into the drain, install in seconds. The hair wraps around neatly around the cylinder, and all you do is clean it and throw it in trash can. So if you see these in your store, they retail you guys for $15 at Walmart. So definitely pick these up for a dollar. They work because I've bought them before, and this is a repurchase for me. I actually gave my first one to my daughter, and I found more, and so I grabbed myself one for the kitchen sink and one for the bathroom sink. So there are those. I'm gonna lay those over here because I need to start using those. Also picked this up for my grandchildren. I've seen several people haul this, but I've had it for several days, you guys. Um, yeah, and it's just been sitting here waiting to be hauled, but I've had a little bit of other things going on, so that's okay. But it's a fishing game, ages three and up, with four fishes, and um, it says fishing pole extends to 18 inches. So, it and it's not magnetic. You actually have to catch the little fish. So, how cool is that for a buck, a dollar? A dollar and you have a gift to give it's better than not giving anything at all so I love that I love that and this will be great for my grandkids when they're playing outside with their little hands-on games in the pool and the water so this is going to them so I'm gonna lay that one over here because it's not staying here Glad I looked over here because I had the sweet, savory, sugar-free pumpkin spice flavored syrup for your coffee or use it on whatever you want to. You can put it over your pancakes, anything like that. But there is that one, you guys. So be on the lookout for it. It's fall, so pumpkin spice and everything nice.
And if you didn't catch my Be Kind collab video, I'll link that in the description box. Make sure that you watch that and um, hashtag Be Kind in the comments section to be entered. So wanted to let you guys know that in case there was any confusion on how to enter the giveaway. Not sponsored by anyone other than ourselves, myself, Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict, and Pamela from Pamela's World. Those two ladies went above and beyond, and I just want to thank them from the bottom of my heart because, as you can see, I reach a milestone. And we will be doing our beauty giveaway soon. As soon as the Be Kind giveaway ends, we will be doing that one. So stay tuned for that because I have tons of makeup to share with you guys. So let's jump back into the haul. I also picked up some more of these, the Fab, and you get 10 loads. I'm not sure how many you get in here, but sometimes if it's an extra big load, I use two, and sometimes I just use one. So these work out perfect for me since I go to my daughter's to do my laundry. I don't have a washer and dryer here in my duplex, so these are perfect. And at a buck, you can't beat that. I also picked myself up some melatonin to help me sleep, only three milligrams. And it's non-habit forming. It's something natural in our bodies anyway. So, and it's hard to find. So I had been searching for that as well. And we'll lay that over here so I can put that with my medicines. Also in Crafter Square, I picked up ooh, <laughs> the Deco Mesh. But look at it, you guys. It's in the... To me, it reminds me of the Buffalo check, but it's black and like this off-white color. It's so pretty, so, so pretty. And at a dollar, you're not gonna get this anywhere else for a buck. And let's see, you get, <clears throat> you get, um, it's six inches and you get five yards of it. So five yards per roll. And usually you need about six and I did get a few of these too, and I'm sure they're in other bags, but that's what that one looks like. That one's super pretty, and I think they'll go well together. I don't know that I'll use them together. In fact, I haven't worked with Deco Mesh that much at all, but I do plan on it. Ran across some more gold toe socks, you guys. I ran across these, which are more like trouser socks. And um, I can't see what they retailed for. Oh, yeah, I can. $9. So, right, right there, it says $9. So, hope you can see that. If you see these in your Dollar Tree, grab yourself a few, if not a lot. Great Christmas gifts and for a dollar. And when it says it retails for so much more, you know... It's worth it. It's worth the dollar. This one retailed for $7, and this is the Jersey Crew. So that's what that one looks like. And they do have gold toes. Thus the name Gold Toe Socks. So there are those ones. Also found these. I didn't get to picture them in my walkthrough, but was so glad to have found these, you guys. Couldn't believe I ran upon these. And this one's for my granddaughter. Just haven't given her this one yet. But it's just a little unicorn, and it's one of those games that have become ever so popular. It's a, it's called a bubble snap pop. Ages five and up, and non-toxic. These retail on Amazon for way, way more than a dollar because I have been looking for them. I've been on the hunt ever since I first saw that Dollar Tree had them. Super glad to find them and they went super fast. And then you guys, check it out by this company own on a 7-inch Universal Tablet tablet folio case portfolio size microfiber lining so let's open it up and see what it looks like on the inside well I guess we first have to remove this part 
but I am going, I have a tablet and that's what it looks like on the inside. So it's just a little tablet case, but how great is that for a dollar? You just cannot beat that, you guys. Let me lay this one over here. Time for a drink, so excuse me. My mouth gets so dry when I start to chit chat, so bear with me, and I appreciate your graciousness. Also found these little metal pumpkins that say fall harvest in the black and white buffalo check and in the blue and white gather. These are so stinking cute, and they had the little hanger so you can hang them. You could easily attach these to a wreath. There's so many things that you can do with these, you guys, and you guys know it. So, super lucky, and they're 10, just like the wagons and the other trucks are. And speaking of wagons, I did run across the red wagon that says Farm Fresh Pumpkins. Love this one so much. Also, the blue one that says, Happy Fall, y'all. And I know it's not fall yet, but have a happy day, y'all. I say y'all all the time. Do you say y'all? I would love to know. Who says y'all and who says you guys? Let me know in the comments below. Again, would love to hear. Also found some more of the metal trucks, so I picked up a couple of them. The red one that says grateful, and this one that says thankful. Let me turn it around like that so you can see it. Again, metal, metal for a dollar. You cannot beat it. You, you're not gonna get that deal anywhere else. Nowhere else will you get it for a dollar. So. Unless it's end of season and it's 90% off everything. So there are those. Also wanted to share with you this little gift bag that I picked up that says love. And I know it's probably meant to be for somebody that's getting married. But you guys, you can DIY these. Pop them into a picture frame. Um sorry to say color. Don't color the picture frame, but paint the picture frame, and there you go. You have just up a normal standard Dollar Tree item and personalized it to match your home decor, and love that it says love, and love that it has the truck on it, so that is exactly why I got this one. So, let's set that one to the side. Also picked up these signs that say, Happy Harvest, Thankful, All are Welcome, Gather Together, Fall Greetings, and Blessings. So that is what it looks like. Super cute. Love all the fall signs. We have some trucks that say Fall Harvest on the tag. They have a little metal leaf over here. Now these are wood. So that's what it looks like on the back. So there are those. Also ran across the white and black buff or not buffalo check, but black and white pumpkins. Also ran across the orange and white ones, but M for Marsha and R for my last name. Super duper cute, you guys. I love these. They have them in tall and short, and I got both. So there are those. Also picked up some more Ioni makeup, the Fat Lips Chubby Stick, the Creamy Matte Finish, and this is prom Pomegranate Cane. So that's what it says there. Oh, and then on the side as well. And so grab two of those. And I've shared a few of these before, but I, I ran across more and decided it would be well worth it. The Fat Smoky Chubby Stick um, in black. And it's a duo. You can use it two ways, and I love that. Wish I could have found more of these. But found that one. So very grateful. 
also picked up a few of these. Is this the same one? No, this is sugar cinnamon. And this is also a matte finish liquid lipstick. So there's that one. Let's swatch this one if you want to. I'm going to be keeping it for myself anyway. Oh, I forgot. These are a little hard to get out. So let me see here. So that's what it looks like. Okay, and let's swatch it and see what it actually looks like. Oh, that's pretty. And I'm actually wearing um, hard candy today. And I love it. I'm wearing the Velvet Mousse. And I can't remember what color it is, but it is beautiful. I also picked up the pencil eyeliner. And I'm pretty sure it's the same. I, I want to think that I've already used this one as well by Ioni. And I will swatch it for you as well. Let me kind of throw those over to the side. Very precise. Very precise. Very, very controllable. <clears throat> and also picked up the Ioni in the PB and J. And that's what it looks like. And we'll swatch one of these as well. So let's go ahead and get this one out too. Oh, this is pretty too. So that's what this one looks like. And let's swatch it. Oh, that's that one right there. Love this one. Love the PB&J. Hope I said that correctly. We also have the Berry Jam. Very red. So let's check it out as well. Swatch it and see what it looks like for you guys. Berry Jam. I'm going to have to use the other. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Can you imagine that on your lips? I don't want to get red in my hair. But look at that. That is so rich, you guys. That is absolutely stunning. For a dollar. Oh my goodness. Dollar Tree, you're killing me. You're killing it. You're killing it. You're killing it. And then we also have, um, we already swatched the sugar cinnamon. And then we have the Sweet Buzz, I think it says. Let me use my handy dandy. Yeah, Sweet Buzz. B-U-Z-Z. -Z. That's exactly what it says. So let's watch it and see what it looks like. I'm just kind of ripping into these, you guys, today. Because I want to share with you what it looks like. So you know if you want to pick it up or not. This one's more of a lip gloss, and I hope that you can see it there, and that's what it looks like. So let me hold my hand up a little bit closer, but that one's more of a very nude color, and it does not look as nude on here. It looks more coral, so don't forget that was the sweet I want to call it Sweet Breeze, but it says Sweet Buzz. It really does. Okay, you guys, and I just have a few more things to share with you, but I think I will save this one to the next time. Ran across the Cracker Square vinyl and was about to hit the floor, you guys. So I'll save this one to the next time because we're almost at 30 minutes. But with all that being said, I hope that the swatching helped you as well. 
And thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And a special thank you to Pamela from Pamela's World, Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict, who I'll link in my description box as well. So if you don't know who they are, definitely go over and check these ladies out. And don't forget about the Be Kind giveaway as well. Make sure that you check out that video. Until the next time, I'll see you then. Have a great day.